Good day class, welcome back to Unpali Creole. This is Asian Creole 101 and this is lesson 3. We're going to see lesson 3 today. Before we go to lesson 3, you had some homework to do. Let's go back to the last slide of lesson 2 and review um, that homework. The last slide of lesson 2, that's what the homework was. What you had to do in that homework was to identify the numbers from the conversation. Remember that conversation between the brother and the sister? Fré, accès, brother and sister. And that conversation, I think we had some numbers. Now tell me, how many numbers did you find there? That's correct. There were five numbers there. Five numbers. Now what are they? The first number is huit. It's in the third line of the conversation. The first number is huit. 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 That's the first number. Now the second number is right below that. It's set. Set. The second number is set. Second number. Now, what's the third number? The third number is in the line below that. It's this. It's the last word in that sentence. This. This. Now, the fourth number in that conversation is cat. Where, where the sister says, Moi, c'est cat. Moi, besoin. Moi, c'est cat. Mm, besoin. That's what it says in that conversation. And the number there is cat. And the last number is found in the last sentence. And it's the very last word. And that sentence, nef, nef. Those are the numbers in that conversation. If you found that, then you did good. Now we're going to do something else. How many sound do you have there? I would say you have two sounds, right? That's C minor vowel and then that uit, uit, uit. Now how about here? We have three sounds, right? You have s, e, t, s, e, t, set. How about here? D, e, s, this. D, e, s, this. About there, we had k, a. I'm sorry, k, a, t, k, a, t, cat. You have three sounds. How about here? N. E, f, nef, n, e, f, nef. Now, one thing we're going to do starting lesson three, after we see the remaining consonants, we're going to have all the alphabet, and then what we're going to do, I'm going to have you learn to pronounce all the sounds that we have in the language. And we're going to combine the consonant and the vowels to give us the syllables that you will be using in the Creole language. This is going to be crucial. This is going to be very important, right? There is a second lesson before we move to lesson three. The second question in that homework was, are there any semi-vowels? If yes, what are they? Are there any semi-vowels? Let's see if there were any semi-vowels in that conversation. Now, the first line of the conversation, combien petit papa nous gagne? Is there any semi-vowel there? Combien petit papa nous gagne? Are there any? Yes. There are two, but it's the same semi-vowel. It's a y. When we say combien, when we say combien, combien, the only semi-vowel we have is this. A y. A y. Now we have on, b, i, e, combien, combien. Now, when you detach all the sounds, you have one, two, three, four, five. But don't worry about it. You'll master that. You're going to master that in the next three, four lessons. You're going to master that. And then we'll dip into some bigger conversations again. The second sentence. Petit de you? How many you have there? Oh, well, the other word was gain. In the first line of the conversation, combien, gain, yeah. And this semi vowel there is gonna be the same one, this one here. Now, how about the next 
line in the conversation. Piti de oyo, we're gonna have the semi vowel. It's ye. And the answer is we. Se pa yuit? We. Se pa yuit? Let me write this whole thing. We. Se pa yuit? Now, do we have semi vowels there? Yes! We have two. We have this, u, and we have this. Yui. Yui. Oui. C'est pas oui. So we have those um, semi vowels there. Do we have any semi vowels left in the other and the rest of the conversation? Let me see very quick. Yes, we're going to find it in the second to the last sentence in the conversation where the sister says, Moi, c'est quatre, moi besoin. We're going to have ou twice. You're going to have it in moi and you're going to also have it in besoin. You're going to have it again. Moins besoin again in the last sentence of the conversation. Those, all the three semi vowels were in that conversation. So now let's go into lesson three. You ready, right? Let's go there. 